Hey guys, Zach King here with a simple Final Cut Pro tutorial today. A lot of you have been wondering how to get your music from iTunes into Final Cut Pro. Not that hard. So what I'm going to do here is I have a song here. I'm just going to drag this Switchfoot song into Final Cut Pro. Now I can't just drag it in and drop it. It doesn't work like that. You have to right click and you're going to want to say show and finder. So click that. And when I do that, the finder pops up with the album. So I'm going to drag that MP4 into Final Cut Pro. And there it is. It's in Final Cut Pro. I could drag it in my timeline. It's going to need to be rendered. Or, you know, I could set in and out points here. Another, another problem that you're going to be confronted with a couple times, though, is if the file isn't compatible. And when a file doesn't work in Final Cut Pro, what you're going to have to do is still show in Finder and you're gonna go right click open with QuickTime Player and you're gonna go to File, Export, Sound as AIFF, um, title it whatever you want, save it to your destination and save it. It'll export um, in like five seconds or less. There it is close QuickTime and go wherever you saved it. I saved it here. There it is. And I can drag it, that AIFF file, into Final Cut Pro. And there it is. And if I drag that in, there it is. And you don't even have to render it. So if you're not into rendering or your computer's really slow, I would just convert it in QuickTime really quick. You're not going to lose that much quality. It's not that big of a deal. The third thing that you might be um, confronted with is not... it's like say you went to iTunes and you bought the song, it automatically has a lock on it. So you cannot um, put it in GarageBand and try to convert it. You can't take it in QuickTime to convert it. What you have to do is simply burn that one to a CD, and then you can just drag it from that CD to your hard drive and save it, and then drag it into Final Cut. So that should solve all your iTunes problems and getting your music from iTunes into Final Cut Pro. That's all for that tutorial. I'll see you guys later.